The thing that I really think is neat about Fisher is the fact that most people don't even know they're here. Even people in Wisconsin can be living with Fisher and have no idea that they even exist. They were completely extirpated from the state of Wisconsin. Um, so when European settlers came in here, they actually trapped all of the Fisher out. So we had no Fisher here uh, up until 1950 when the DNR started to reintroduce Fisher to the Northwoods. And uh, those reintroductions were very successful. And now we ended up releasing two Fisher at Tree Haven today, which is excellent Fisher habitat. We heard about the Fisher initially from a student intern who is working at Wild Instincts. Wild Instincts is a non-for-profit rehabilitation center. They take injured, orphaned, and displaced animals and they rehabilitate them so that they can be released back into the wild. She basically sent us an email and said, hey, we have one female fisher who's available. We would like to release her at Tree Haven. Do you want to put a collar on her? And of course we want to put a collar on her. Under normal circumstances, when we have an animal that's available for release, we don't usually just have collars laying around. The Wildlife Society's fisher project, um, which is led in part by Nick Gall. They were able to let us use one of their collars. So this collar will gather GPS signal, so it will actually take a point every 11 hours, which you can upload onto Google Earth, and it'll show you exactly where that fissure was at that time, which will give you a good estimate of what habitats it is using throughout the year. The fisher was um, taken out of its enclosure, was anesthetized, and then it took about 15 minutes to get the collar in place. Uh, then we drove it over here to Tree Haven, which is very convenient for us at UWSP because we, we have all these students here at Tree Haven taking summer field classes. Tree Haven's actually one of the reasons why I enjoy teaching at, at UWSP so much. So every student that's here um, has to take uh, classes related to soils, to forestry, to fisheries, and also the wildlife class. So having our students out there in the field to actually see it happen and to get to be a part of that is a very special thing. It kind of feels like sending your kid off to college. It's like I raised uh, the female, at least, from when she was very small and I got to watch her grow up. I'm so excited that she's better now and she's ready for the wild and I've got my fingers crossed and I'm hoping that she makes it and becomes the fisher at Tree Haven. That would be amazing. It feels really good to be able to give back to Tree Haven too and provide uh, further research that the students here on the summer course can partake in. Students here will be able to go out and do telemetry uh, on that fisher. It's a good way to locate animals without like getting too hands-on with them so you can experience them and like know what they're doing without really interrupting their life too much. Many of our natural resources students don't know that Fisher exists. As she is moving around, as this Fisher is moving around the property, she's going to um, pop up into places that we don't expect and I think that gives our students an actual more realistic uh, view of what uh, working as a wildlife biologist really is. So this is a perfect way for us to get to educate uh, more students and more members of the, of the public about our wildlife resources here in northern Wisconsin.